Hi, friends. Um, it's a new pen and a new ink day. Uh, I have a cup of tea. Earl Grey. Of course. And a new pen and some new ink. So, we'll make a swatch card. Um... Uh, this isn't an unboxing because y'all already unboxed it. I got it in the middle of 30 inks and I'm like, yo, I'm not filming yet another video. But. There's the box. So I too have fallen sucker to the allure of platinum chokudo. And the box has this little slip case, and then that look, it's slanty, kind of like a, is it Karen Dosh? It's got words that say blah, 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 ink in the bottle, which I think is like the bottle for carbon black. I don't know. I don't have that ink. We're going to roll it around. Um, apologies if the light is weird, but... You know, the windows, op the blinds are open. It's going to be warm today by all accounts. Um, in the high 80s, I think. Yes, in the high 80s on October 18th. I had to take the day off because I have been having horrible migraines. And I actually think that maybe my migraines are an um, earthquake detection device. Because we had an earthquake and my head started feeling better. No lie. So, not only can I detect the weather, but apparently earthquakes. Unfortunately, I have enough other triggers that <laughs> it's not a very good detection device. Because I'm going to be like, y'all, something's going to happen, but I don't know what. And how does that help anyone? It doesn't. Okay. So, this is the ink, if you haven't heard of it, that's like, the Vanta Black of fountain pinning. It has this little doohickey in here. Like a in-bottle uh, ink miser. Yeah, this isn't. This does not want to go on this nib. I don't like that K. Ooh, it is weird on this water. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to show you this. This is tap water. Do y'all see it? It's just like floating on top. I'll take you down. Weird. My computer's taking off. What's our temperature at? I don't know why it's up at 50 something. Funky. Can we focus on how dark this is? It's like, yeah. Intense. Yeah, funky, funky stuff. Okay. Oh. 
We have so many things to swatch on and in. It's exciting. I'm um, almost afraid of using this brush, but if anything will be fine with pigment, it's a paintbrush. <laughs> like, for real, Maria. Chill out. Funnily enough, I don't actually have any black paint. Because we... Is that true? Well, I might have black acrylic paint somewhere. Most of the paints I have are watercolor, and it's generally like... The closest I have is Payne's Gray, which is a blue. Uh, pigment, pigmentally, it's a blue. Okay, I gotta wash this in cleaner water, but look at it, it's just first a little more. Well, you can see it, I left it in shot. <laughs> uh, okay. The thin parts are drying already. Thinly applied parts. Let's find a page to put this on. We could put it on today, maybe. What day is it? For a second, I looked down and I thought it was Tuesday and I was going to cry. Because I could have sworn Tuesday was yesterday. Good news, Maria, it was. I was looking for where I swatched my last um, ink flight in here. And I realized I don't think I did. <laughs> so that's a thing. <laughs> um, I have been playing a lot of video games lately a lot of time at someone else's place. It's kind of a weird world for me. Um, having a great time. Work has been a lot and I'm glad to have it. As I hear more and more news of people who don't. I think I like it so that I can see, yeah. I think I'm gonna put this back in here how I had it so I can see that and that. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to go. Are you one of those people that absolutely hates when other people do like air quotes? I shouldn't have done air quotes for that because like those weren't in quotes, but I had to demonstrate. Um, Cause if you are, I'm sorry. So this is still drying but it's pretty flat when it dries. So my new pen day, I, y'all, I've already recycled the box it came in. Who am I? I got rid of all of them, except for the ones for my um, nicer Twisbees. So I got, I don't have the boxes for any of the goes, for the ecos. So this is a an eco tea. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the teeness of it in a medium nib. And I inked this up when I got it with Chokuro. So. I was writing with it last night. I'm not going to. Am I? Yeah, I will. a flowy pen right now. I swear to you it wasn't this juicy last night, but maybe I've been shaking it around. Maybe it's under pressure. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So is this ink really black? Yes. Friends, it's very black. So now I finally have a black ink that doesn't have glitter in it or other particles, except actually it does. Yeah, it's pigment. But I like this. I like to have a change. Oh, I, I like to make a mark when I've inked a pen. I like to ha be able to have a change and like what is more different from my usual inks than solid black. To me, it is a 
I'm, I'm trying to get it in the light to look at it. To me, it's a pretty neutral black. If I had to say in those thinner parts, it leans slightly warmer, like a little more to the charcoal um, than to the slate. It is flat when it's dry. So um, I was watching Simona and she was talking about how carbon black dries a little bit shiny. I don't see that with this ink. Um, and I like how like stunningly black it is. My partner, I just decided I'm going to call him that, um, really likes uh, matte black stuff. And I was going to put this in his pen, but he doesn't use his pens frequently enough. So I am thinking like, I didn't do, I didn't want to do a super full fill, but I did end up doing a pretty full one. And now it's down to here. You can see I've used a fair amount. I'm going to use it up and then clean it out. I don't want this to stick around in here forever, though I haven't seen any problems with it. I do think, I don't know. You know, the stuff floating on top is kind of like dispersed in there, but I do think I have distilled water. Since I have it, I'll probably use it to clean it. If I didn't have it, I don't know that I'd go out and buy it. Um, if you're curious what the heck I'm talking about, Inky Rocks did a really great video about this uh, ink. If I remember, I'll put a link to it. Um, I don't know if I've shouted her out before. She's, I love, I love her channel. And also the Countess Creepy Nibs, uh, recently did a swatch video on, um, this past Friday, the 13th. And one, this was one of the inks. So check her out. Um, but that's it for me today. Here's my minimalist purchase. Um, at the, t at the same time, I also got a, a gift. That's why I didn't do the unboxing. I bought something for someone else and I was like, this is awkward. And plus I'm lazy. Uh, and the 30 inks thing that I mentioned. Anyway, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.